All right, so we are back from Bunyan. You saw in the previous video that came out earlier this week, uh, some of the highlights from the Paul Bunyan show this year. But there is one more thing that I need to show you guys. And if you watched the live stream from Sunday mid-morning when I was at the Paul Bunyan show, I kind of did just a quick little live stream. And then at the end of that live stream, um, I had to, I was limited on a couple things, time and battery on my phone. So, uh, but I mentioned, and I quick showed at the end of that live stream, the setup with the 405, the Yappa 405, feeding into the, and why not, firewood packaging, automated packaging system. So I know at the end of the live stream, there were people that were a little disappointed they didn't get to see that system, that whole process run through. So here it is in the video. And again, some of the audio is a little off, um, but I think you can make out what uh, was being talked about and all the information that they were kind of giving out in the video and just kind of see for yourself and kind of watch the whole process work. So here it is, sit back and enjoy. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, have fun and be cool. All right guys, it's the last day of the Paul Bunyan Show. Dan's in our booth, so we're gonna do something kind of cool. We are running the 405, the Yapa 405 perfect split, 471 rack. Uh, we're gonna swivel that conveyor over. I can do that from the operator's position. We're gonna go into the disc cleaner. Things are gonna get cleaned out even more. They're gonna go to the next conveyor and then they're gonna go into the multi-pack, which is a uh, automated wood packing system. So I think Dan's gonna get this whole system kind of uh, Kind of on video we're here, and we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna go from from log to bundle, yes, bag firewood. All right, let's all do in it. one shot. All right. So that's why they're so short. 
it says go one side, fills the other. Fills out, and then, and then once it fills that side, automatically comes to this side. If the wood, if, if, if the operators don't take the wood out, the machine shuts off, and then as soon as it takes the wood, it'll empty a bag and start up automatically. It, all, it also yep. corrects its own jabs. It'll do that constantly. It, it, I can, I, it, it. That is. So it, it, if, if a piece turns for whatever reason, which wood is not, you know, you know yeah. firewood is yeah. uneven, it will correct itself. What's the max size? 16. 16? Right now. Yeah. But this, this, so now, right now, it's, it's going to make a box. Hits the button, and the measured amount drops in. Yeah. And, and we, then, uh, now the next, the other side is ready to go. Yeah. While this side fills. Yeah. So, what, how many, like, boxes an hour? We're right. Right now, we're working about three boxes a minute. So, about, a, about 120. We've done up to 200 boxes an hour in an hour. Ooh, so, but it's depending on the wood. It's all. It, it's how many pieces go in the yeah. box. Oh yeah. It's all. Right. It's, it's one second or less per piece of wood moved into the box chamber. One second. Jeez. So if you got eight pieces, you're uh, eight seconds, nine seconds or less to make that package, and then whatever the human, whatever the human takes to do the bottom end. Three bundles a minute, or three boxes a minute, yeah. that is. Or, or bags, or bags. Matter. Yep, yeah, the other yeah. side has bags. Yeah. We make, uh, at home in, in Alberta, we make uh, 1.5 cubic foot bags, averaging uh, right around 16, 17 pieces per, per package. And we're doing three bags a minute, very easily. Three bags a minute. Wow. And three bags a minute, after an hour, of a three husky guys, good in good shape. We're sweating. <laughs> oh, I believe it. We're sweating. We're, and all we do is we we weren't even moving, putting them here on a, a pallet. We we're just taking them over, putting them on on the floor there. So I was on this side, Dave was on that side. We put them on the floor, and Jay was dumping him in back into the into the bins. We can just recycle because we were testing. And after an hour, we were sweating. I believe that. Yeah. So if you don't have a Conveyor, the infeed, you can you just dump with a, you can't, yeah. It has to be a smooth, easy, yeah. easy, uh, smooth, Feeder, con an infeed. continuous infeed, yeah. So you need like a conveyor, What you probably want one with like a cleaner yeah. like but that. But we have, this machine is already rigged up for all that back there. All you have to do is plug into it. Yeah. And and the, the VFD and all the controls are already set up for it. So I'll, I can show you back yeah. here where that happens. So, right here. Uh, okay, let me, let me just get this. That right there, this plug in is uh, for five horse uh, 220 uh, electric motor up to five horse, and this here plug in is our control wire. Control wires fetch a sensor in the, in the root, uh, turntable to sense how much wood comes in, and ah. it, it turns it on and off automatically by itself, so it doesn't overfeed or, does, or, or not enough wood, it just keeps a nice constant level. All right, and then the head. This head is interchangeable. Very easily, we can come over here. I'll show you how. Unplug these two wires. This wire and this wire. So it's just a matter of cut. No, it can't because it's running. Pull these two safety pins. There's a spreader bar that goes on top. You lift this up. Take it. Put it in that spare rack that's on the other side. Yep. Here. And this is the next one. So put it in that spare rack. Take the spreader bar off. Hook it onto that. Do you see the spreader bar up there now? Yep. Pick it up, slide over there, set it in place, put your safety pins in, put your two wires in, push one button on the screen, and you go to work. Wow. Yeah, bag is 